To be a food thinker is like thinking about how I cook something, how can I have someone else cook it in the same way that I do, and what will constantly give them success and confidence and repeatability and things that make life really easy for them so they can just enjoy the moment of food. I think before I joined Bubble, developing a product is like, oh, creating this fantastic feature but involving food is really like starting from the result you're expecting and sort of work your way back to how you're gonna make your product great and deliver a consistent result. At Breville, with all of our products, we have chefs and professionals and people with that strong food thinking mind evaluate and test these products before we launch them and release them. That's not only from a cooking perspective, but from a look and feel and usability point of view as well. I worked on the pizza oven for two years, solidly five days a week, and I would make 10 pizzas a day. So 10 pizzas a day, five days a week, however many thousands of pizzas that ends up being. The only way to know that the oven is gonna work the way that we want it to work is by making a bunch of pizzas. I was actually pregnant during development of that, so I always said that like my daughter was gonna come out and her first word was gonna be pizza because I pretty much ate pizza like five days a week. People at home, we're packing ovens to get maximum temperatures out of those ovens to then produce what essentially is like a wood fire pizza. Oh my God, yum. Wow. And this thing is incredible. That is as close as you're gonna get coming out of our wood fired oven. The Pizzaiolo is really and truly the first and only electric oven that you can put into your kitchen at home that will get to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Pizza Allo does have really high temperature inside the chamber, so you can heat the pizza up very, very quickly. So temperature was one of the important factors that we need, we need to be accurate when temperature goes into the firmware. The engineers and the designers, they're responsible for all of the amazing technology that's inside the oven. And then it's up to us in the kitchen to tune the settings so that when you put your food in there, depending on the type of pizza you want to get, you get the right output. The pizza oven just brought a crowd constantly. Two years, everybody ate pizza every single day and I would put out big trays of pizza all sliced up and it, without fail, every day it would all get eaten. So when you say the word pizza, like everybody has an idea in their head of what pizza means to them. So here in the US, we have the New York setting. Here in LA, we were the only ones that were gonna be able to define that, that New York style pizza. Power is different, the ingredients are different water hardness is different. So all these factors come into play where we really have to do it live on the ground here. Down on the temp and you want to get that golden kind of crispy on top around the edges and then obviously with New York pizza you have the fold. It should be sturdy enough that you can pick it up and get a fold without it drooping or falling apart. We were all in communication, so basically the kitchens and the core project team, we talked multiple times a week, if not daily. And everything had a temperature tweaked, or a fan was different, or there was something different in the ovens. They were all testing something, slowly, slowly fine tuning to get the perfect result. We, I know that Michael and Emma like us to like me to do rounds and rounds of beautiful. So really, it's all just about trying to keep that collaboration um, as much in real time as we can. I think that there'll be issues with cleaning. Purely as a kitchen specialist, her feedback is really important for us. Like, how do we, what do we want to put into the product? How do we want to tune the product? I have an inquisit. Um, let me leave you a note. The main competition Revel faces is being able to release and launch products that are innovative and first to the market. By using tools that can speed up our release time on a project gives us that advantage. So this is the main control board for the Pizziolo, um, which is on that front dial interface where we have the, the knobs, the buttons and the LEDs as well. Collaborative platforms like Zoom and Teams have definitely helped a lot with that, but then also being able to use our Team 365 has helped tremendously to allow us to collaborate in real time. There's so many times where someone has pulled up a schematic that is six months out of date and have using that as the up-to-date reference point. Having the latest version and being able to access that by anyone from anywhere 
is absolutely important. This allows for quick design reviews across the engineering team, the product design team, the firmware team, our manufacturers and so on. Food's quite exciting at Revel. It's a mix of innovation and discovery along with family and consistency and how do we make people's lives easier. Everything sort of meets in the middle. The Pizzaiolo can produce a pizza that is like a wood fire result in two minutes. That's really appealing to be able to have dinner on the table in two minutes. It's not about whether it's the perfect solution from the technical end, it's all about what the customer sees and how they interact and use the products. As part of that as well, we need to get to market quickly to be able to release our products fast as new innovations and new technologies come in. Using Artium and Artium 365 has definitely helped speed up our processes. Thank you for watching Altium Stories. If you enjoyed what you've seen, please give us a like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to hear what you think, so please leave a comment in the section below.